Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ronnie. Please come in and have a seat. I'm here to discuss the trending issues in a kid's state. Well, I'm just making a statement. It's up to you to evaluate. I'm making a plea to Ekiti State Government to please work on the restoration of peace in Ekiti State because of the divisions among the towns in Ekiti State. That is causing a lot of complexity and confusion among the indigents of those towns that were separated under the administration of Dr. Fayemi. For the people that are not so familiar with Ekiti State, Ekiti State comprises a lot of towns, both big and small towns, and they have one unique thing. There's no town in Ekiti State that does not have Ekiti as a suffix. It does happen that a lot of towns in Ekiti State, they were from about 500 years ago. They had the same interest of living together in harmony. They've been living together since about 500 years ago. They've been celebrating one another. They've been happy marrying anyone within the town, outside of the town. During the first era of Dr. Fayemi as the state governor of Ikiti State, he granted some autonomy to some set of groups of people. He did it in some towns where it was possible for them to have autonomy and he did it in some towns where it wasn't really so much possible for them to be divided. In some towns where they've lived together and there's no clear-cut demarcations, there's no clear-cut boundaries, you know, among the towns. They had their piece of land and they'll be building houses wherever they wanted and uh, they have been living happily, celebrating one another, sharing their cultures together and happy. So when Dr. Fayemi came, he granted some autonomy to some people within a, some small town. Many of those small towns, they are not even as big as some local governments in Lagos State. So in these towns where given autonomy where there was no land demarcation and I wonder how the government would want them to function without having conflicts among themselves. During the time of Fayoshi, he refused to divide further the towns that were already being divided by Dr. Fayemi. When Dr. Fayemi came back, he further continued to divide those little towns without you know, clear demarcation of the land. This has been causing problems, a trade among the indigents. The, their peace have been traded for, uh, I don't, I can't really say, but it's been traded off. And uh, people started saying, Governor Fayemi did it just for political reasons. That he only did that in those towns where he was not that popular. So that would make him to get the patronage of the people that he granted autonomy to. People of the Kitty would like to know why Governor Fayemi has not done any division in his homeland, Ishan. Some set of people further said the autonomy was granted by Dr. Fayemi as a favor to some of his friends and I said no, I don't see him like that because he's well educated, he has traveled far and wide and I don't think he will ever do something like that. He is a political human and not a political machine who would place a political career over the peace of a community. He's not a person that would place a friendship over the peace in any community. I am concerned about three things. This video, I'm not doing it to condemn the acts and I'm not doing it to applaud the acts, but I am trying to bring out three points there and um, it is left for you to evaluate and form your own judgment. When a group, like a subgroup in a community, brings a petition. It is expected of the government to send some people down to the town to go and talk with the indigenous to serve questionnaires to them and to ask them about their opinion. It's like divorce. One of the partners files in the divorce, the other one will be told your spouse has filed a divorce. At the end of the day, decisions will be made by the court based on the best interest of the two of them. The survey was missing. There was no survey done to ask them 
how would you find it if this petition is granted because it's their life it's their town and they are the ones that are living there and the second thing the government did not build a prototype to what they would eventually do prototype is like a trial let's try it whether it's gonna work let's give a partial autonomy let this group of people operate you know maybe six months or one year and a review will be done whether it works in the sense that the communities will be asked you know how did you find it as a result the permanent autonomy will be given there should be prototype because it's never been done the third point i'm raising is that there should be follow-up plan by the state government you cannot divide towns that have been living for about 500 years all of a sudden and you do not put a follow-up plan in place the first thing will be to have a constitution in a situation where the towns have been divided you're going to put constitution in a place as to how they're going to operate the town without them fighting you're going to see it with the lawmakers in the land the kings the high chief and they're going to plan a constitution as to how they're going to operate in peace when you go to lagos and uh, you're standing at oshodi and somebody tells you that you are not in lagos anymore because oshodi has their own king and that is happening in some of the towns that have been divided in ikiti state you get to one territory and they said no you are not in this town anymore even in some places where there are no clear court boundaries there is not land demarcation they built houses wherever they like because they had this piece of land in the past and they started to build anywhere they wanted so it's like you standing in front of a house and somebody tells you that this town is not town a you are in town b and you go to the next house and they say oh you are in town a there has been confusion in ikiti state ever since the division of these small towns it will guide them to how they will operate how they will live together happily and apart from the constitution review should be done time to time maybe six months one year the government will go and see how they are faring apart from review initially when the division had occurred the government ought to have put cancelling in place you know because it's like grieving sometimes grieving can turn to grievances people end up fighting one another because uh, the grieve has turned to grievances my advice to the state governor dr fayemi is to go back and review what he has done he should go by himself and reflect on what you have done because a lot of towns are not having peace at this moment and my advice to the indigents of those towns that are badly affected is that they should know that peace is paramount they should all work together in, in making sure that their land is peaceful they should never allow themselves to be used as political equipment they should all work together marry one another governor fire me should please try and restore peace in those towns that are concerned thanks for watching my video i hope you like it do subscribe remember to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload another video thanks for watching bye for now